This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for choosing News 4. I'm Claire Kellen. Here are some of the stories making headlines today. President Joe Biden addressed the American public on the new COVID variant, Omicron. The administration will ban travel from South Africa and seven other countries in the region. Dozens of other countries have now banned some travel due to this new variant. President Biden urged those who are eligible to get a booster shot and once again asked the unvaccinated to get a COVID-19 vaccine as soon as possible. Twitter says co-founder Jack Dorsey will step down as CEO of the social media platform. Dorsey will remain on the board until his term expires in 2022. Well, Twitter stock, which has consistently underperformed in the market, jumped more than 10% of the opening bell today. When reports of Dorsey's departure started circulating. Dorsey, a St. Louis native, says in a letter posted on his Twitter account Monday that he was really sad yet really happy about leaving the company and that it was his decision. He is also the top executive at Square, a financial payments company that he founded. And some big investors have openly questioned whether he can effectively lead both. For a check of your work and school week forecast, we send things now to meteorologist Leah Hill. We're seeing two weak fronts moving through. First, a warm front is passing through our area, and that is bringing a return of unseasonally warm temperatures. Temperatures today topping out at 60 degrees, which is about 10 degrees above our average for this time of year. Well, tonight, I'm tracking another weak front to move through. This one will be in the form of a cold front, won't produce any rain, but it will chill our temperatures, bringing about some more seasonal conditions tomorrow. A few clouds rolling through with that front. Winds coming from the north tomorrow behind the cold front temperatures on Tuesday. As a result, we'll only sit at 52 degrees, but then just as quickly, things change again. Heading into the first day of December, we're seeing more warm temperatures. 60 on Wednesday, 68. That'll be one of the warmest days, and that will occur on Thursday for the weekend. Still looking pretty nice. Temperatures a little lower. We're going to be sitting in the 50s. We're dry for the upcoming week, all except Sunday, which I have a very low chance of rain. Thank you, Leah, and that is your news for update. Remember, we are always online at kmovie.com and your KMovie News app.